tariki ya munane z'ukwezi kwa kane 2024 Perezida Kagame agiye kiganiro n'abanyamakuru yabajwe ibibazo byinshi kwera ko yabajwe kugiye ni mubano w'u Rwanda ni hugu bitandukanye hari byo yasubije abanyamakuru Perezida Kagame yabajwe niba hari cyo yaba yaraganire na Bill Clinton uryo bwo intumwa za Amerika zitabiriye umuhango wo kubika kujyanye no muryo Amerika yakomeje kwinangira gukoresha imvugo iboneye ijyanye na genocide yakora abatutsi ni kibazo yabajijwe na Edmo ukorera Kigali today mu gusubiza yagize ati Bill Clinton twagiranye ibiganiro hamwe n'itsinda yaje ayohuye ibiganiro byagarutse ku mubano wacu ndetse n'icyo kirimo mu byaganiriweho hamwe n'ibindi kuri nge kira kibazo cyarasubijwe kera ubwo twagaragasaga uruhande rwacu sikera cyane kuko ni 2014 cyangwa 2015 twabonye ubutumwa buturuka hirya no hino kwisi budufata mu mugongo icyo gihe twabonye ubutumwa ku rundi ruhande buvuga kwibuka udufata mu mugongo hanyuma ku rundi ruhande buvuga ku bya demokarasi uburenganzira bwa muntu cyo gihe igihugu cyacu cyandi cy'America ibyo nasabye icyo gihe nerabwiye nti America cyangwa ikindi gihugu gifite uburenganzira bwo kutubwira ibyo batekereza bya bidushimisha cyangwa se bitadushimisha ibyo nta kibazo tuzabyakira hanyuma ingingo y'ingenzi ya kabiri nerabwiye nti kuri gikorwa cyo kwibuka kwishimira ko twafatanyije natwe ariko kuri izi ngingo zindi zihari hari ikintu kimwe twifuza kubasaba yakomeje avuga ko mwibaruwa turabwira tuti nta cyo bitwaye niba mubishaka mwifatanye natwe mu kwibuka ariko icyo tubasaba ni kimwe mu gihe bigeze ku yakari mwimata ese birashoboka ko mwakwifatanya natwe mu kwibuka ibindi mukabireka umwanya ufite iminsi 335 muduhe umunsi w'iya karindwi mata mwibuke hamwe natwe hanyuma indi minsi 334 muyikoreshe mutunenga kubindi mudakunda kuri twe mutandukanye ibi bintu mwifatanye natwe mu kwibuka ku munsi umwe hanyuma mufate indi minsi isigaye mutunenge ibyo mushaka mu gusoza igisubizo cye yagize ati nge ntacyo bintwaye ndi umunyamakuru yabaje ibyanye n'umwana wa Afrika y'epfo no Rwanda aragira ati ntabwo twari kumara amasaha nge na prezida wa Afrika y'epfo ngo nituvuge kuri ibyo ngibyo ndatekereza ko twaganire neza tumva neza ko ibintu bimeze ndetse kandi ninzira nyayo y'uburyo twakorana kugira ngo tubikemure nanyuzwe ndizera ko na prezida ramafoza nawe yaranyuzwe ko twatera intambwe mu gukemura ibibazo so Fimkwena from the South African Broadcasting Corporation. Mr. President, yesterday I, we spoke to President Cyril Ramaphosa who said you had a marathon meeting on Saturday night. You also have the former South African president uh, in the country who joined yesterday. Were you able to raise issues that we spoke about on Thursday in relation to your, Rwanda's relationship with South Africa, particularly the issue of the DRC. Thank you so much. We could not have spent hours, uh, uh, the President of South Africa and I, meeting and, and, and definitely not talk about that. It, it featured the and I think we had um, a very good discussion, very good understanding of uh, the situation and uh, maybe the best ways uh, we can work together to, to resolve that. I was satisfied. So, uh, and it, it seems your, your interview also helped the discussion you had and the questions you asked maybe uh, informed the, all of us uh, uh, and prepared us for that discussion. So we had even a reference point. So we definitely did discuss that and uh, I'm satisfied. I hope uh, the president himself is satisfied that 
we can uh, make good progress on a number of fronts uh, to resolve the issues. So if you allow, we can take one last question. No, no, but I see many people here wanting to... Okay. We can take Kagabo and then come to... No, no, uh, but don't concentrate on people here. There are people from outside who are here. You are, you are, you are being sectarian. You are <laughs> <laughs> let's take Asahi and then... Let's take Asahi and then we'll take uh, Margo. And then we can take from this side. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you, President. Uh, my name is Susumi Maizumi, uh, working for Japanese newspaper Asahi. So, with regard to the presence of Asian country, including Japan, maybe especially Japan, so what kind of relationship would you like to build in the future with Asian countries? We actually have very good relationship with the Asian countries, uh, and a relationship that is very productive, uh, it is very meaningful to uh, our development as a country and uh, I hope meaningful to those countries as well from our side. Um, so we, we do. We, it's a, and, and the good thing is it's actually more, it's a healthier relationship. Uh, with those Asian countries. They don't come with the... Well, some of them have started learning to do that, but largely, we... we it's uh, respectful, it's uh, uh, very beneficial. They don't come with all kinds of demands uh, uh, that we must uh, address like uh, we have in some other types of relationships. So it's there, we want it to grow and uh, it's healthy. Thank you, sir. We can take Margot and then somewhere in the back and here, we'll come to you. Good morning, Your Excellency, and thank you. Uh, I'm Margot Solinas from the French media ITEM, um, and I had two questions for you about, uh, first, the French presidency leaked last Thursday a piece of the speech of Emmanuel Macron he, that he was supposed to pronounce yesterday, but the video that was actually released elsewhere and the speech didn't match with, uh, with what was announced. Um, plus, Emmanuel Macron was supposed to come and finally he cancelled. Um, I wanted to know if wherever there has been a problem, uh, because of the French position doesn't sound like a really clear at the moment. And my second question is about uh, the fact that Rwandan soldiers have been sent to Mozambique in 2021 in the aim to help and strengthen Mozambican and Rwandan relationship. But how did it also strengthen the relationship between Rwanda and France at the moment? All right. Um... <coughs> As far as I'm concerned, uh, our relationship, uh, relationship between Rwanda and France is good, and has been good in the recent uh, days. Um, of course, uh, behind that, there is this long history of uh, uh, problems relating to what happened uh, in our country in the last 30 years. So we, we, my feeling up to now is we've made progress. But there are still people maybe in the political and other structures of France that are held back by what happened in history. They are still living politically in the past. We can only be making progress on the basis of uh, um, people who want to look forward and we move forward together. So I, I don't know the proportions with this, with that. I don't know, but 
to make the judgment, I think the people of France are reasonable people and we can work together. Sometimes the politicians are the ones that are, are at issue. So I, 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 I heard about that, the contradictions in the settlements or this, or watering down this, but that's all about it. I heard that happened, but I really, for me, I'm focused on the good things that can happen if we let well and make progress. These small issues, uh, I think, will be there. Even if you are talking about the head of state having done this and that, but still, uh, that's not for me to to dwell on and talk about. Maybe when you get an opportunity and, and speak to him when you get back, you may ask him. He may give you a better answer than I am capable of giving you. Uh, but for us, we are still on uh, the side of wanting to continue making progress, irrespective of uh, the bad history we have had. For Mozambique, we, 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 we got involved uh, in Mozambique uh, with the understanding and uh, invitation of uh, our brothers and sisters in Mozambique um, and, and we've been there doing what we can and working with the, the Mozambicans to uh, rein in the insecurity that was there for a couple of years and I think good progress has been made also. How the French come into this, as you asked, maybe is related to what you might be having in mind uh, because they have investments there. Um, like other countries have. In fact, there are many countries that have these investments, heavy investments in uh, Mozambique. Either these countries working together and through their companies or different uh, ways. Well, it is uh, France, it is the United States, it is India, it is Japan, it is Korea. It's, uh, there, there are many who are there working there. So naturally the investments have to be made in a, in a stable environment. And f since we are there contributing to the stability of, of the area where they, these countries are making investment, uh, we, we have discussions, we talk to each other. We, in our contribution um, and their investments there, we have a good uh, uh, discussions and understanding of how we can continue to stabilize that area. That, that's uh, um, the main thing they can say, France linking uh, through Mozambique. Thank you, sir. Um, we take two, three more questions. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Okay, we'll go with Francois and then David and then come to AP. Good morning, Excellency. My name is uh, Jean-François Dupatier from Africa Arabia. If you watch at the French-speaking press in recent days, you see a lot of articles in favor of Rwanda. Anyhow, there is often an incidental headline that asks the question, but who is Kagame really? The propaganda of your enemies, particularly in Congo, describes you as a cruel and bloodthirsty tyrant. Do you try to change this image? For example, in most of your official photographs, 
you look severe and distant. This can contribute to fueling controversy. Why don't you wear a slight smile like all your fellow presidents <laughs> around the world? Do you ultimately like or dislike being fed, sometimes hated, in the Western world? Thank you. Good. <laughs> uh, I think you have summarized well the questions that have been there but not asked directly. <laughs> uh, but uh, for the smile, I think I have to borrow either some talent or actually directly the, the smile from some people. But the fact that it is, the smile is lacking on me is not my making. Maybe it happens accidentally. But, but very interesting way of putting your question. I tried to answer it this way. Starting with the, who, who is me, who is the person. I have uh, me is the person you see. I'm not hiding anything. What you see in me is what I am. If you are just going by the looks or by whatever or what what I do more, I think is what. Uh, may describe me than my physical looks. Uh, so I wanted to say what you see is what you get with me. Uh, in most cases, in words or in deeds, they relate. My deeds and my words tend to relate. My looks may be different from that, may be different from my deeds and uh, and how I think. Uh, but in any case, isn't um, the description of uh, the looks uh, also subjective? There are people who see me as a, through the looks as a terrible person. There might be others who say, after all, there's nothing bad looking like that. So it's, it's subjective. But um, to the point you're making, about tyrant or cruel or... You see, you, you, you can't be bad to that extent. Uh, or a tyrant or bloodthirsty or whatever, and hide it. It's difficult. Even if you try to hide it, there is a moment it betrays you. And that also, once it has come out or once it is not there, you register the feeling, the description, the, from people who have to deal with you. If I, if I was, some of the things uh, people have said about me or described me as, I mean, the judgment is out there, either for the people of this country or other people somewhere else. And it wouldn't just be confined to the press, because the press is full of individuals. But these individuals don't add up to a population that is as big as Rwanda's, even if Rwanda is very small. These are just individuals five in France, 10 in America, 
three in China, uh, two in Belgium, and so on and so forth. If you add all of them up, and they are even all negative and saying things about me, surely these can't be the people that are right and the rest wrong. But they, 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 are, they only take advantage of the platform they have, of the, they are able to command uh, some uh, voice that uh, they put out there for people to, even people who don't know what you're talking, there are many people who even don't know about Kagame and get to know him by what a journalist has said, or the one in the press has said. And uh, in many cases, in my experience, some of them have started by hearing what the journalist said and they ended up saying, but we've been told lies when they come to know this through other means, either by direct contact or visit or whatever and interaction with other people who know this person that has been talked about. They may say, this, this person told us lies. And consistently, over many years, has been telling us lies. What we saw, what we heard, whether it is this city, whether it is the person, whether it is this. They say, no, but what we are being told is completely different from what we have seen or experienced. So, and of course, there is a particularity with the Western press. The Western press, you, 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 I mean, you will find out there are things that were said about this country 30 years ago, 25 years ago, that are being repeated now, which means, according to them, nothing has changed. They talk about uh, Rwanda, very poor population. We are poor. We are not where the developed countries are, for sure. But this poverty, the way it was in 1995, in 2000, is not the way it is in 2024. But somebody will keep writing in the press, like what we have today, is the same thing as we had 25 years ago. And keep just rubbing it in. You know, even the Kagame and his looks and so on, I, I've been trying, in recent days I've been trying with a smile. Maybe it's not a good smile, but I've been trying. <laughs> so the, the Kagame you saw in 95, in 94, 2000, uh, anyway, there was no smile. There was nothing to smile about, so I didn't smile. <laughs> but now, with some progress, I can afford some smile once in a while. So, if somebody thinks, uh, uh, you know, uh, like that, you know, I have even grown uh, gray hair. Last time I had black. My hair was black, and now it is gray. It is actually disappearing. I, I may be bald. But so if, if, if you think the Kagame you saw 20 years ago is the same now, <laughs> no, it, it is a misrepresentation. But even then, that time, I looked different, and uh, the press may not have uh, uh, liked the way I look. Uh, like, but the situation that time maybe looked like that itself. <laughs> so I can't be in a heap of dirt 
and then I'm smiling. I mean, th th that's a lie. I would be a liar, I would be pretending, I would actually be... Um, having some problems with me to, to pretend that everything is okay around me when everything is bad. So, finally, the Kagame you see or there or you like or you don't like is going to be there anyway. <laughs> I, I don't need anybody to like me or to hate me to live my life. I live my life whether you like me <laughs> or you don't like me. And I have my views, I express them, I do things, I do. Uh, so I owe my living to not a single individual or country, even if powerful ones. No, we are all human beings created Sometimes they say, by God, I don't know, maybe, maybe some, we are there for something. But so, for somebody to have powers over me, uh, that one I can tell you is not possible. Yeah, even the most powerful don't, didn't create me. Who created them, first of all? And we are all here just temporarily. We, 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 if we are lucky, we live up to a hundred years. Those are the luckiest. You know? So, the one who is saying all that has also his time and he, he will go, like all of us. Everyone has their day. Uh, so that's why I can't accept that anyone who has uh, powers over somebody else to the point of dictating. Uh, uh, even the most powerful don't have power over us, uh, how we live, how we do. So, but the Kagame has been shaped by that philosophy, that understanding, that what well, I try like any human being and do my best, do what I can do, do what I have to do. I may have flaws, make mistakes, own up and do good things, benefit and benefit others. And so I'm that person. Tell, tell those people that actually to know me is not complicated. It's straightforward. It's me. <laughs> Then other things we can discuss on the side. <laughs> but that was a very powerful question. <laughs>